Welcome back to Living 808. P3I is an awesome program that helps to transition local students, professionals, and military personnel into intelligence careers, such as cybersecurity, data science, electrical engineering, and more. Mikey went over to the Garden Isle to learn all about it. Living 808 is on the island of Kauai at Waimea High School. And today we are highlighting P3I and how they're supporting Hawaii high school students in an intelligence career. And here to tell us all about it, we got my friend Darren. Good to see you. Good all to right. see you. Darren, let's talk about, you know, the early college programs. Tell everybody a little bit about those programs. So the early college program is a program set up with a partnership between Waimea High School and Kauai Community College. Right. And I am an instructor uh, part-time for the college, teaching electronics technology uh, for kids to earn their certificate degrees, um, earning college credit while they're still in high school classes uh, for free college credit. Very cool. You know, let's, let's talk about the skills that these students will learn once they're in the program. What are they? Uh, the skills are hands-on. Uh, electronics technology, so they'll learn everything to see if they are interested, uh, being this this is a 101 level college class, um, and so they transition out of the high school mindset into the, hey, I'm getting ready for college, here we go. I it's love pretty that. Exciting. Okay, Darren, well, we're super happy to be here at Waimea High School to see what these kids are working on. And speaking of, everybody, I'm gonna introduce you to Amy, which I think she's over here, right? Right this okay. way. She's working on some circuit board or something? Yes, sir. All right. Everybody, I want to introduce you to Amy. She's a junior here. Uh, first of all, what are you doing? This looks pretty complicated. All right, so I'm making a circuit with switches, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to make it work. Okay. Yeah. She said Elon Musk. Yes. <laughs> you know, I was talking to Mr. Arimoto about, you know, all of the pathways and everything that's, you know, happening for the students here at Waimea High School. But let's talk about, um, you know, what made you decide to enter the early college program, and what are your plans after high school? All right, so... I decided to choose this as my class because right. I thought like it was pretty interesting, okay. especially because the wiring and making the circuits, I thought it could benefit me in my other engineering class. Okay, so your your career goal is to be in an in engineer, right? Yes. Yeah, tell everybody a little bit about like your career goal and what you kind of want to do for the future. I feel like I would want to be, I would get my degree in teaching and okay. hopefully become the engineering teacher or physics, something in STEM. Okay, super cool. Um, let's talk about what inspired you to get into this career path because this is pretty cool. It's kind of boss. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So I wanted to join the engineering pathway because mm -hmm. I just thought also it was pretty interesting. I know it's all hands-on and yeah. the 3D printing and stuff, I thought it was pretty cool. Especially after high school, I know that the field of engineering is probably like a pretty broad field. Right. So I just thought, you know, maybe I can have with my skill set, I know I can find something out there for That's me. That's cool. You know, let's, let's talk about, you know, future students who want to join the early yeah. college programs. Any tips, tricks, advice? So, the advice I would give is mostly towards the women that want to join because it is pretty male dominated in this class. I would know because I am actually the only young woman so far. Say it again. Say it for the people in the back. But I'm the only young woman in this class so far, you know. Be there. Yeah. <laughs> and even though it is male dominated, it does not have to stop you from joining this class, especially because it's okay to fail. Like I was just <laughs> doing a lot right here. Right. I failed a little bit, but it's okay because when you fail, it's just one step closer to succeeding because you can always try again. Okay, I like that. Congratulations and best of luck on all of your success. Thank you. All right, everybody, now I'm going to introduce you guys to Iliam, who's going to be pursuing a career in the Air National Guard. All right, everybody, now I want to introduce you to Iliam, and he is a senior here at Waimea High School. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay, you know, today we're talking about the early college program. Um, I was talking to Amy about it, but I wanted to ask you, you know, what inspired you, what motivated you to get into the early college program? Uh, what inspired me to get into early college was, like, I didn't really know what to do, so I wanted to figure that out, and I thought, yeah, colleges could help with that. Okay, so let's piggyback on that for a second. You know, what are your plans after high school? Because I know you got something going on. Uh, right now, my future plans are to join the Air National Guard for training to work up at uh, Koke. And then I need that training so I can also work at PMRF. Uh, at both of those jobs, I will be doing maintenance and repairs on radars. 
And I also want to tell everybody that that's pretty much set up for you. Yeah. That's awesome. So you basically have, you know, your future kind of set out already. But let's talk about, you know, your future. Let's continue that topic. What inspired you to get into the Army National Guard? What inspired me to get into the Army National Guard was my colonel, who told me that it might be able to help me get me through my education. And two, I can serve my friends and family here in Hawaii. Well, speaking of family, you know, I want to ask you, being a part of this program, it, it's able to help you, right? Live, work, and even raise your family here in Hawaii. What does that mean to you that there is a program like this that offers this to Waimea High School students or any students in Hawaii? It pretty much means everything to me that I would be able to live here, work here, and raise a family comfortably in the islands without leaving. You know, let's talk about, um, you know, future students who want to be a part of the early college program. Do you have any pieces of advice for them that you would like to share? Uh, absolutely get involved, because like, even if you don't plan to go to college, the experience and education really helps out with everything. That's so awesome to hear, you know, that these programs are, you know, offering opportunities and resources to students. Like we've heard from Amy that she wants a career in engineering. You're having your career in Army National Guard. And it's so cool that we're able to come out to Kauai. So on behalf of Living It Away, Ilium, thank you so much for inviting us into Waimea High School. This is awesome. And everybody will have more information on khwin2.com. Thanks again, Ilium. Thank you. First of all, congratulations to the students of Waimea High School and all of the students who are part of this early uh, program at uh, uh, that, um, these early college programs because not only, and I wish, friend, I wish we had this when we were in school, but not only are they getting, you know, their high school, you know, education, they're also getting their college education. That's great. And they're getting hands-on experiences in the jobs that they want to go to. And those jobs. Yeah. Oh great jobs to have yeah. when you talk about you know setting yourself up for success right something like that is a really great program so again right. p3i will have all their info yeah. on our website kh12.com because they help a lot of people it's not just high school students they also can do if you're in college yep. military personnel yep. um so if you're interested make sure you hit them up yeah such a great program mm -hmm. all right